Juice Man, Juice Man, Juice Man, Juice Man. Whoa! Back with another Ball Brothers My Career. I've been reading the comments. I've been making some critique decisions on the attributes, the accessories, everything, dog. The numbers is right. The accessories is right. Now, I want to ask you guys, is the attributes right? Like, I made some critique decisions, you know, turned down a lot of the attributes, made it more realistic, but still fantasized it a little bit so I can be able to, you know, compete against the CPU because I am playing on Hall of Fame. Now, I did make a driver dunk on 70. He can dunk. Nothing crazy, nothing but like rim grazer type dunk packages, standard one hand slams, and he only have two Hall of Fame badges. Now, looking at Leangelo, Leangelo Ball, he's probably like the more well rounded brother out of them all. Like, look, look at this. He got an 80 open three, 80 standing layup, a 70 driving dunk, decent ball control, decent pass vision, things like that. Some light, nothing too crazy. Definitely. Not as good as he was on the first video. None no more. Now look at his badges. He only had one gold badge. None no more Hall of Fame. None. Because me, I looked at the highlights. I really didn't see nothing he was like super dominated at. So yeah, like, let me know if he need a Hall of Fame badge now. Look at that little Melo, the fan's favorite. He's pretty much just an offensive guy. He can shoot pretty much anywhere on the floor. Super trash on defense. I mean, uber trash, dog. Like, I'm surprised his ankles won't get broken by anybody so I only gave this man one Hall of Fame badge with limitless range three gold five silver the fewest badges out of them all from personality to whatever they call it a playmaking but I got a quick question should we add LeVar Ball as a four or a five to the team because the way we got dominated by these bigs on the Clippers that you guys will see in this gameplay was disgusting now, mind you, I'm thinking about making LeVar Ball like a paint protector, super trash on offense besides standing layups. But, hey, we're going to see. But diving right into the gameplay. Rock with that man LaMelo Ball at the point guard position. Going up against Austin Rivers because Chris Paul is injured. This game started off disgusting, bro. I mean, I know things ain't supposed to happen this early. But after Austin Rivers came down got a nice floater to go, LaMelo Ball had nothing but redemption on his mind. Breaking his man's ankle, stepping up, pulling up super deep, getting a shot to go. Let's get it, dog. Already start off the game, the first possession on offense. This man already breaking ankles, cooking up, getting buckets, bro. This man, Lamelo, was nice. And I don't even got his ball control like on what, 85, 90 something? Like I don't know. But look at this at a different angle. Look at the, look at the distance between these guys. Ugh. Creating so much space, set up just a little bit. Pulling up deep, showing up that limitless range Hall of Fame badge, getting them freaking buckets. If you guys haven't already, man, you guys gotta hit that thumbs up button, man. That's aim for 3,000 likes before we get that next episode, which may feature LeVar Ball. But from the corner, pulling up another three. Getting more buckets, second that lead. Let's get it. Try my best to play defense on Austin Rivers, which was kind of tough. Look at JJ and Rake struggling as Lonzo. Get a behind the back contest right there, bro. Look at the vision. LaMelo finding Lonzo from the mid range, getting more buckets. I know it was kind of different, man. I told you guys every game would be like a different lineup on who I'm going to start the game off with. This game was LaMelo. First game was Lonzo. Maybe, maybe LaAngelo the next time, but another three. After getting a friendly bounce in. Three threes straight. I think we were three for four off the game, but it's cool. But in this situation right here, I got stuck, dog. I got stuck. <laughs> I was holding L2 trying to play defense on Austin Rivers, and they was hating on me. They made me attach to DeAndre Jordan, Jordan. but I ain't gonna let that stop the grind. We right back to it on the very next possession. Final lines on. Let's go over the crazy shot, getting no buckets. Woo! We out here eating up. Oh, cooking. Oh my God, need to call the screen. After the screen, trying to explode my way to the rim, get a left to go, but end up getting fouled. No and one. And shout out for the Dream Team, for everybody that's been supporting the series. We don't really see them haters no more, dog. Like, we ain't paying attention to no more hate. I've been reading the comments, a lot of people been hating on LaMelo. For what? This man's only 15 years old, grinding, trying to get better at basketball. Okay, we understand. He's trash at defense. He can work on that, dog. Yeah, plenty of years to grow. Why are you hating on another man's grind for? It's disgusting. It's disturbing. 
It really shows your character. But right back into the gameplay. Right there, getting a the steal. Leangelo on a fast break, stopping and popping, getting a shot to go. Which should have been an and one. Facts. But coming down to the end of the first quarter, down by one against the Clippers, this is a very tough game. Especially getting dominated by them bigs, dog. For real. So in the second quarter, we come out here with Lonzo Ball at the shooting guard position. And you already know how the game goes when he out here playmaking at his best. Plays are being called. Right here, we're running a nice little play, getting Lonzo wide open for the nice little long mid-range shot, getting the shot to go. Which should have been a green release. Full bars, everything. We call them LED lights. Full white bars, we call them LED lights. But with JJ Ray trying to get buckets, he coming up short. Grabbing rebounds, reading the floor. Leangelo on that fast break, stopping and popping. Look at the, ugh. Look at the high knee shot. Looking like dirt. Well, you ain't no dirt, you need to stop it. And this is one of the few reasons why I said we need to make LeVar Ball the fourth member and make him a paint protector. I believe he would have shut that down real quick. And this is one of the few, you know, highlights on this video where the bigs is just pretty much being so dominant, so annoying. And what if I gave LeVar Ball like brick wall? He would have made that screen so much cleaner. That's right there, the GOAT, whoever he is, the generator rookie character or whatever he is, getting them trades to go. As we still down by double digits. And right here, I was like, you know what? I think it's a mismatch. Let me spin off of him. Let me get to the basket. Try to draw a foul. But could not get no contact on that layup to go right there. But it's cool. It's cool. Because Dream Team, if you already have it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, man. More videos coming back, dog. OJ video with the player um, challenges should be back very soon. As you guys seen, Blake Griffin knock down a mid-range jumper. Oh, my goodness, bro. We need some defensive help. Because these guys, the Barbers, ain't enough to get the job done, but on a fast break, look at the transition moving so smoothly as LaMelo getting the layup to go. Look at the replay of that. Look at the nice little setup. Drew to the attention, LaMelo cuts to the basket. Nice finish. Super nice. But at the end of the first half, down by 12, this game is getting ugly. Hopefully Leandro can come out here and ball. So in the third quarter, we got here with Leangelo with a broken nose. We ain't gonna let that face none of his attributes. Right there, send Lamelo up from the corner. Corner specialist getting the buckets. Let's go. We try to cut this down to a single digit lead. Loki trying to make a nice little comeback. As you got Paul Pierce, you know, guarding Leangelo, cutting to the basket, trying to fight for position, going in that post, throwing it up, trying to get an in one, but we still not getting no calls. Even though I put the attributes on 90 draw fouls, I promise we better get any calls. And throughout this entire game, when the Clippers was building their lead, they was getting steals on the passing lane. But right there, LaMelo getting the fast break to go right there, going all the way up with a finish. Over that man, Austin Rivers. Let's go. Look at that, nice read. Great defensive effort, dog. I did give him, what, 75 steal, 80 steal, one of them. To at least make him somewhat, you know, Able to make plays on defense, even though his defense consistency is only on 50. Right there, grabbing a defensive rebound, reading the floor, throwing the ball up court. LaMelo, stop it and pop it. Getting them shots to go to cut it down to a two point lead. I don't know what is going on right now, but what a nice little run. I mean, the grind don't stop, the effort do not stop. Look at the great defensive effort right there, off the transition. Leangelo and LaMelo, running that give and go, cutting right down to the basket to the layup to go right there. Woo! That's a lot of goals on that whole sentence right there. But at the end of the third quarter, only down by three. Somehow we got to stop the bigs. And I went to the box score, looking at who's lacking in stats. Because I told you guys, the fourth quarter guy is whoever lacking in stats. And we're looking at Lonzo, slightly struggling. So in the fourth quarter, we're going to play with Lonzo, dog. By the time we got anything going in the fourth quarter, the Clippers went on a crazy run. But right here, getting the and one. Lonzo getting to the basket. Finally get something going for the offense, man. Our defensive effort is trash, man. So let me know, LeVar Ball, 6'9", 6'10", power forward, pain protector, right? Let me know down in the comments right now, dog. We need some help. We need some help. <laughs> As DeAndre Jordan getting another slam. That man like seven for seven from the field. Like 14 rebounds. Blake Griffin got like 20 plus points. Austin Griffin's giving LaMelo buckets. And this has been happening all game. Every time he's had to pass it, the Hall of Fame difficulty just have them crazy on the passing lanes, dog. It's disgusting. Like, it, it, it's getting to the point, it's getting very annoying. Right there, trying to back him down, trying to get a post shot to go right there. Horrible release. 
I mean, horrible. His post better way only, only on like, what, 60, 50? So it definitely doesn't help at all. And at this point in the game, dog, it pretty much was a GG. Paul Pierce called ball game. <laughs> Run up that mid-range jump shot. So, yeah, man. Turned down the attributes. Made it way more difficult to win. We got the Houston Rockets next on the schedule, dog. The Houston Rockets. Whew. Get put uh, Lonzo back at the one to go against James Harden. But we got to see, man. Look at this. 20, 20, 19, 18. They had a well-rounded game. Every one of them starters dropped 15-plus points. All had steals besides Blake Griffin. But looking at our team, we struggled. From the field, had turnovers. Oh, my goodness, dog. We need LeVar Ball. We need to go help. Let me know down in the comments if you need him. Like the video. Subscribe. Leave a comment. I am out. Juice, man.